So can you freeze an avocado? Short answer is no. Long answer is maybe. Welcome back to another lovely episode of Can You Freeze That? This time we're going to be freezing avocados. I know. So um, if you guys have watched some of my like grocery hauls before, I have told you guys that um, in the UK it is a very normal thing to see bags of um, avocados that have been cut in half, uh, de-pitted, and frozen. Um, in these, you know, in these vacuum sealed bags and I've seen them in multiple stores and so I know that we do not do this in America because like in America it's like, oh, avocado, you gotta wait for it to be ripe, you don't put it in the refrigerator, you don't, you don't want to do anything to it. So um, it was very interesting to me that you can freeze avocado because doesn't that solve like the actual issue of waiting for an avocado to become ripe and then afterwards you have like three avocados and you can't finish them all in a day. So, you know, so if this, if this works, I think, I think we got something. Um, let me just make sure that I don't screw this up. Yeah, this guy is it. So we tried tofu last time and I mentioned in that video that essentially when you freeze something, it, uh, it freezes the water molecules inside whatever food it is. And when the water molecules freeze, they expand and because they expand they kind of like break through the cell walls and then the cells kind of get destroyed so that's why when you freeze something and then you thaw it afterwards especially with vegetables um, the vegetables seem a lot softer it's almost like you've you've cooked them right and just from what we've seen last time and also probably what you guys have researched online it's it does seem like the more water content something has the kind of um, bigger the change that you will see um, after it has been frozen. So I was very careful not to say like the worse it will be for freezing because as we saw last time, it merely, it changes the texture of something. So whether something can be frozen or not, well, yeah, anything can be frozen, but afterwards, do you like the texture or not? Or maybe you can apply that texture um, to, uh, another, to another dish. So that is what we're gonna do here. So these are my normal avocados I thought I'd have two of them here, just, I don't know, for comparison's sake. Um, this is the one that I froze. And I, so my method for doing this again is I put it into the freezer for 12 hours and I made sure it was like rock hard and everything else. And then I ended up thawing it in the refrigerator for right around 18 hours because I wanted it to have a gentle thawing. Some people will say though, if it's, if it's like something like industrial freezing where you can, you know, freeze it almost immediately and there's that short time between um, frozen state and not, the vegetables actually, or like the fruits and vegetables, they do a lot better. I have no idea what my freezer does. I know that it's really cold, so, you know, no doubt it's gonna um, freeze something fairly quickly, but in terms of uh, it being, you know, industrial, like no way. So uh, this guy has been in there for, you know, right around 12 hours. So let's cut the avocado. So upon just outside, I didn't say this before, but upon just looking at it from the outside, it's a lot more like um, uh, deflated because uh, everything looks wrinkly, but this, uh, especially compared to this, it feels like it's deflated. Let me just cut around this. I watched like a video from like the National Avocado Association or something on how to <laughs> cut avocados. Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, everything smells normal, but oh, it does not look that good. <laughs> There's a lot of browning. I mean, that could be the avocado itself, but I, I actually don't think so because it, it wasn't that ripe when I put it in. Um, I also want to say, like, I see a lot of um, kind of separation. So an avocado, obviously, like, from if I were to guess before, um, I would say that maybe an avocado would fare okay well compared to normal fruits just because there's that fat content and sometimes I guess like fat 
might help protect the fruit. It doesn't look that appetizing, but I, I actually think maybe, maybe we have something there. So from the National Avocado Society, you're actually not supposed to like cut, I mean, you're not supposed to cut the squares into it. According to what they say, you're supposed to cut it one more time. You're supposed to quarter it actually. And then afterwards, then you can just like peel the whole thing off, which didn't really work here. So, um, if it's me maybe it's the avocado as well but it's kind of like old and even like a little bit bitter as well and um oh i hope this is it. i hope that this is not how the the ones at the grocery store taste like um it it kind of tastes like you can taste a lot of the fibers in the avocado but it's it's kind of lost that creaminess that it once had, like, like maybe the fat's on one side, the water's on the other side, the fibers are by itself, and you taste all of those things um, separately, which is not great, because obviously, you know, it does not taste like a, like a very um, creamy avocado anymore. I'm gonna try it with this avocado, um, just in case, just to see if I got bad avocados. Nope. This avocado is good. I got it from the same merchant. And so, can you freeze an avocado? Okay, so I'm gonna say at home, you can't freeze an avocado unless maybe you have like a really good freezer or like some kind of like an industrial mechanism. Or maybe um, if you have like a vacuum, I didn't try that yet, but maybe if you had like a vacuum seal and you vacuum sealed it first and then you threw it into the freezer, then like maybe that would work. And again, like because of the industrial freezers, they're able to freeze very quickly. It doesn't really cause this much cell damage, but if you're working from a home uh, freezer, I'm gonna say no with this method. So this was indeed a big fail, but um, let me know if you guys want me to go and buy a package of these frozen avocados from the grocery store and then I can try them out here for you. And who knows, maybe um, under, you know, kind of industrial methods of freezing, um, chances are it'll probably taste fine, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, I will see you guys again next time. Bye.